Introducing to you, first fighting to my left out of the blue corner. He comes in standing 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing officially at 156 pounds. His record stands at 10 wins, opposite three defeats. Originally from Tunisia, now fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Hayadi Majedanin. And across the cage, his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He comes in standing 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighing officially at 155 pounds. His record stands at 10 wins, opposite two defeats. Joining us from Mahachkala, Dagestan, Russia. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome C.T. Gamudev. And your referee in charge is Marco Perez. And that is the incomparable Ray Flores with our introductions. Our ring announcer here at Eagle FC. Sitik Mudev taking on Ayadi Majedadeen. Marco Perez will be the third man inside of the cage this evening. My whole career. It's all about setting the tone for an event. And Majedadeen and Mudev. Are you ready? We'll surely Fight. do that tonight. And here you go, the first ever U.S. fight here for Eagle FC, Mudev and Majedadeen. Two steps to the middle, guys. Henry Hudo was just telling us about that in the open, that this is a very small cage. It took two steps, and these guys are fisticuffs. That could play out, particularly in tonight's main event. Yeah, right away, Chuff. You notice the, you know, and, and anytime you hear somebody that's from Mahashkala, Russia, you know they are dangerous, man. These guys are scrappers. And right off the back, he's put he's putting his opponent against the cage and looking to look, looking to work and get on top and do something. Henry, the Russian invasion is very real. We started to see this about four and five years ago uh, within mixed martial arts, but you and I knew the secret from our days as wrestlers. When you talk about there's just some tough places to grow up, these boys are from them. I mean, it's not Westland, Oregon, or anything, but no, the the what the Russian country. the Russian wave is real. Oh, very and, much and, so. And that's something that could be see like, to me, like the Russians have always been like, you know, the the, the heroes of wrestling, and uh, the fact that they're coming in and more and more into mixed martial arts, it just it makes it harder for us Americans. Chill, I'm sorry to say it. No, it, it is bred into them. You're absolutely right. Mudev working very hard as he comes around the back of Majedadeen. Mudev worked a little bit harder for that double leg takedown than I thought he was going to have to. And perhaps I need to give the credit uh, to Ayati here, but Mudev is on top now. Whoever's head is higher is winning. That's a wrestling rule in a scramble situation. And Mudev didn't do a great job of getting his hips in and his head up. It's one of the reasons he's struggling in this position. Now, Majedadeen hasn't fought in five years, gentlemen. It's been five years since he has stepped inside of a cage and thrown down. So uh, quite possibly a little bit of ring rust here under the bright lights of the Flexcast Arena. Yeah, no, of course. But even the fact that Mudev is is taking him down and he's kind of struggling to get up, he's still allowing him to work. Pretty much what he's doing is he's investing. This is what we call the wrestling grind. You know, so it, so as time, it's two minutes. You can tell he's already a little exhausted. Well, Muda's having to make a choice, right? The math that he's doing in his competitive mind right now, he's well aware of the energy exerted for the takedown, and he's asking himself, was it worth it? It looks like it was not. He's preferring to use this energy uh, to do a little bit of Western boxing. And just as I say that, of course, he's back in on the body. Yeah, the gas tank far from depleted here with Mudev. And speaking of Mudev, you talk about these these Russian superstars, uh, Rayman Magomedov, Ramazan Kuramagomedov. We're going to see them in our main card, and those two men by themselves are probably two of the hottest prospects in the entire company right now. Huge signings. Kuramagomedov has never tasted defeat. He'll be taking on the always gritty John Howard in our main card tonight. What a card for you here in Miami at the Flexcast Arena. I want to thank everybody that has tuned in with FlexCast. And if you're watching with your boys or watching at a party, make sure you get the app yourself so you can always tune in and check out Eagle FC for free on the FlexCast app. Mudev working here. I, you know, I think I need to give the credit. I think I need to give it to Ayati because he is doing stuff with his hips. Look, when you're pinned up against the fence and you have no other option to take your hips back, but you can still find a way to stay on your feet, Ayati is doing something here that's giving Mudev's problems. And you know what the crazy thing about it too is, Charles, if, if he continues to keep defending him, 
I feel like Mudev is taking more of that condition. He's taking more of his tank because, look, he had his he has his head dug. It looks like he has something. Henry, I haven't seen it quite from this angle. Have you seen a submission finished quite from oh, this angle? Oh, wow. Coming up underneath that choke. Now. I've seen I'm it now. That's a bulldog choke. Ooh. Right, back up now. Back up, though. Back up. Hey, Adi can't waste here. A lot of times when you get close to what you believe could be a fight ending submission and it doesn't work, you get depleted. You can't do that. You can't get demoralized. You got to pop back up. But in the eyes of the judges, Majedidin has to get some sort of credit there going for that submission that was tight. And uh, it could have been curtains had it not been such a gritty fighter here like Mudev. Mudev going back to the well, bringing Majedidin down. It's clear what the strategy is tonight, Henry. Uh, he wants to bring this thing down to the ground. Now we see a little bit of the striking, trying to use his knees, and we are on our feet with 30 seconds to go. Hey, Adi needs to go for it here. He needs to empty this gas tank a little bit. He's going to get a 60-second rest. He needs to do something to steal this round, and it is still within play. Yeah, and the, the cool thing about it, within, even within these seconds, Chow, you could steal these rounds. Someone's going to have to go. It has taken a toll on Sitik Mudev. This hard-nosed style, looking for takedowns. It has wore him out. You can already tell from his cadence that he is feeling the burn. How much did he deplete in round number one? Most definitely, and Majedidin was able to survive and get through that round. And you, you look at the open mouth breathing right now at your gel. With what Mudev has, obviously, we know these guys are training constantly on the match. They definitely got gas tanks. You ready? But that being said, it just seems like it's been sapped for Mudev right now. Yeah, I'll tell you what, this round is going to be rinse and repeat. Okay, Mudev is going to trade hands once he sees the range. He's going to change elevation and go for a double. The reason I suggest that, and I will be right, you watch this play out, but Aadi knows it too. Did he make those adjustments? Did his coaches tell him something in between rounds, something to look for, something he could see to not let Mudev get quite as deep on those hips? There's another good body shot by Mudev. Again, guys, no air balls. He's not missing out here. He reached out, he touched something. That's Clayton Ooh. Hires 101. Yeah, I almost feel like Ayati's gonna have to be the person that has to adjust. And even if you're too tired and you haven't fought for X amount of years, at times you're gonna have to start setting things up and pretty much going for broke because there's two more, two more, there's two more rounds left and he's gonna have to win this one decisively. Is it indeed rinse and repeat as Mudev looks for another takedown, a fighter that has fought almost exclusively in China for the, you know, the most of his career, the majority of his career has been in China with WLF. And now he makes this move, picks up a win at CFFC, and now he's here at Eagle FC with the biggest opportunity in his career. But Majedidin will not go away. And Henry, we got to give this guy a ton of credit, man. What a talent here. And Ayati Majedidin able to withstand all the takedown attempts and not give in. This guy has a ton of heart. He does, he does. And sometimes the hardest guys for you to fight are the guys that just have fight in them. Yeah. And I just see he just has that fight in him. Hey, Adi's opportunity now. He's up against the fence. It's a stiller position. Henry, I'd like to see him come up and come around the waist, get around the back. I think that's maybe why Adi lost that position. But here we are, where Adi does have a meaningful chance. He's just getting outworked. Mudev is throwing more, so he's landing more. When Adi gets busy, he is having some success. Henry's not busy enough. He's not, he's not, and he has to get busy. Why not? And why not surprise him with, uh, Ayati could surprise him with the takedown. They're in range, they're in distance, doesn't matter what style you are. If you have the right range, you can take anybody down. Big right hands from Mudev, now using his striking. Willing to stand and train, but here comes Majedidin, landing some money knee, shots. Beautiful knee. Best shot of the fight. Wow. Like I said, Uncle Chell. Oh, how the tables can turn, right, guys? Like yep. I said, this is beautiful, man. Now he, now he, I think he just needs to pretty much recover, win this round, and then turn up in the third. That's right. I don't know what kind of energy Mudev is going to want to expend. He's doing math right now. He's going, okay, I'm up around. This one's halfway through. Where do I want to make this explosion? Or do I want to just save it for the third? But those are the things, Henry. Whether we like it or not, you and I can tell the truth. Those things go through your mind when you're in battle like this and fatigued. Well, then part of it too, uh, Chell, is the fact that sometimes when you hurt somebody and you tend to take them down, they can recover. You can recover off your back. And that's something that Ayadi's got to be careful too. Because if you can't put him away, put him away. 
All right, Mudov's got his feet on the hips, which means he's thinking of pushing away. He's thinking of making an explosive motion and just pushing his opponent off to scramble up to his feet, but now he's closed his guard. That option's no longer there. Open it again. He's again, he's thinking of pushing. He's thinking of creating some space and trying to get to his feet. Ayotti's just scoring here. He's not trying to finish him. He's trying to score with the judges. Yeah, that's what you got to love about this sport, how things can turn that quickly. Mudev was in control for such a long time, for about a round and a half. Now Majedidine is using that fatigue against him, looking strong and gaining momentum as he goes and has that advantage standing. I think we've seen that now. And this position right here is tiring too, especially if he's trying to lift them because there's a lot of back, there's a lot of back muscle and legs. And when you're underneath somebody, that's the worst thing that, that that's the worst thing that will drain your gas tank. So be a big reversal here with a minute left. I don't know if Mudev's going to get it as long as Ayadi stays in the moment. If Ayadi thinks about submission in front of position, he could give this up. He needs to think about position first, stay on top. Nice recovery by Mudev, able just to get to his knees and try to get back on top. As now Majedidin potentially feeling the burn, man. Both fighters have already been through a war in a matter of nine minutes of action. And they're both feeling it here in our first fight at Eagle FC 44. Yeah, you talk about a fight. You talk about two dudes that have met their match. I mean, this is what we're watching right now. This is a very equal fight. And I'm excited because right now I have it 1-1. I don't know what you have it, Uncle Chell. I don't know what you have it, Stars, but I believe it's 1-1. Oh, it has I, to be, right? I, full, I fully agree with that. Yeah, we're one apiece. This third round's going to decide. I'll tell you what, Ayati's a bit of a skate artist, guys. He's hard to hold down. I got to give him that. But Mudev looks like he is going to finish on a good note. And look at that, Satik Mudev fighting back, showing a little energy, but I'm, I'm with you guys. I think we're all three in consensus. That was most definitely Majedidine's round. Henry, I cannot quit thinking about something you said earlier during our open, Cejudo. You were talking about how small this cage is. And as we do look forward to the main event, guys, I can hear these punches. I can hear the punches literally that are landing. Imagine what's going to happen when those punches are being thrown by Hartanov and Sponge. Oh my God, and I'm the one that's gonna be doing the post-fight interview, imagine you that. Fight. <laughs> <laughs> you are watch yourself in there, Sahuda. <laughs> Third and final round, we got it one apiece, Mudev and Majedidine. Cyrus Fees, Chael Son, and Henry Cejudo here on commentary. We'll be hearing later from the great Felicia Spencer and Jennifer Sturger. Yeah, and this is what's cool about this because right now they're 1-1, but it's really who is it that's gonna be able to take up more of the time during the later round. So by the time that two and a half mark hits, that's when you really have to. Oh, and there it is. Big right hand by Satik Mudev, and that could change everything. And the momentum swings to Mudev. Wow, what a big right hand. Felicia Spencer has been in the corner of Mudev. Felicia, what are you hearing? Yeah, well, we're hearing the corner of Mudev is most happy when he is standing. Uh, Mudev's corner is most happy when he's standing. They want him to not engage over here. They want to just keep him punching from at a distance, coming in and out. Uh, again, we saw what happened in the last round. He ended up on his back. He wasn't doing, you know, showing his Ooh. best on the ground. I totally agree with this corner. You know, keep it standing, punch from the outside. He's looking really good. He landed that huge shot just a moment ago. Um, I, yeah, I'd like to see him continue to try to keep it standing. This is big, guys. This is big. What's Mudev got left? Ayati's in the position, and he's not down. Just because he's been knocked down does not mean he's going to lose the round under MMA rules. He could get position and start mounting his own offense. We got a fight here, fellas. Oh, we got a lot of time to go here. It's going to feel like 30 minutes, three and a half minutes left in our final round of our first bout here on Eagle FC 44, live and free on the FlexCast app. Wow. Coming around the back here is Majedidine. Tough position to be in as Mudev is hanging on for dear life to the legs, not allowing Majedidine to advance, Joe. Ayati's hey, doing everything right. I'd like to see him get his head a little bit higher and just shove those hips in to really force this position, but He's got a reversal of his own here. Ayati's getting swept, but he's got a reversal of his own. He's doing a good job keeping pressure. He wants to get the lock down off of his clothing, get it down to the knees, get it down to the legs where it's going to slide. And he's doing everything right. This is what I don't get, though. This is I, I kind of get a little bummed out as a fighter, man. Sometimes I feel like 
you know, um, Ayadi's in great position, but he tends to put himself in these troubles where he puts himself in a position where he's able to get scrambled out. You know what I mean, Chill? Like, help me. He How got could that greedy. be so mad, Chill? He got, no, he got greedy, champ. I saw it too. He was in good position every now and then. You got to just slow things down, freeze this position, make the other guy work. But he opened the opportunity, and now we are back on their feet. But they're going for it. Oh, right up the middle. Ooh, big knee. Ayadi needs a couple more combinations. I'm seeing him touch, but every if you can touch it once, you can touch it twice. If you can touch it twice, hit it four times. <laughs> yeah. Oh, these guys are gonna wake up. I wanna, oh man, as a fighter, Chell. Waking up the next day is the worst. Look, if Ayadi can finish the fight in this or a similar position, he can win this round. He's gonna need to be a little bit busier, and to remind you guys, or if anybody just tuned in, he was knocked down. It was the only knockdown of the fight, but it was in this round. This round is gonna determine their victor. But you're right, Joe. If he can control at the end of this round, because he did get knocked down, but if he controls his last minute and 30, the fight, the fight could be his. That's how tight this fight is. Mudav and Majedidin. Majedidin continuing to slowly pick away at Satik Mudev, Majedidin has not fought in five years. Notice the left arm. If the left arm of Mudev comes inside and controls the leg, that's how he got the last reversal. It's how he will get this one. Aadi needs to hide this left leg, and he's not doing those a good job of it. Scoring. Those are all those punches are scoring, Chell. All those punches are money. I think he needs to continue with the volume. And you know, there's three people that we have to combat. Not the crowd, not me, not the greatest of all time, not the greatest of all time, and Uncle Chell. He has to convey these judges, so his volume has to take place, and he has to continue to pity pat him in order for him to convey the judge that he is the victor. Oh, he's at a full mount. He needs to score here. Beautiful. A little, a little blood leaking out there of Zatik Mudev as Majedidin and the damage has all mounted up on the Russian star. And Majedidin is in a beautiful position, gentlemen. And there's still a lot of time. 30 seconds is a long time. Yes, Aadi has done enough. If he can just beat the clock at this point, Aadi has done enough to come back. In my un unlicensed opinion, he's done enough to make up for the knockdown to win the round. And fellas, the fight. I agree, Cho. I 100% agree. Now with the elbows, Machetity trying to put away Mudev in the remaining seconds of the fight. And this is where we will end our first bout of the U.S. base, Eagle FC card, Eagle FC 44. Ladies and gentlemen, having gone the distance inside the Eagle FC steel, we go to the scorecards. All three judges score the contest. 29-28 for your winner by unanimous decision. Ayadi Majedinin.